sounds like this season is getting back to the basics, like the, the high school basics. What does it mean though for Betty after like several years of all of that? All of that. All of that? Yeah. Um, I think it's sort of a good distraction and kind of refreshing to focus on senior year after all that's happened. Um, clearly a lot. A lot has changed in Betty's life. I think her life has been flipped upside down a little bit. And um, and the idea that she can kind of sink her teeth into senior year is probably really good for her. And I think it's also very sentimental because she's with her, her best friends and, and it's their last year to kind of do all this stuff together before things might change. So I think she's... Um, Trying to be in a good place at the beginning of the season. Trying. Trying. <laughs> it's hard when your dad was in front of you. So many people's parents are murderers on this show. <laughs> yes. The par- there's going to be no parents at the end of uh, <laughs> the show. They're all, they're all just... <laughs> Your performance, the scene when you had to decide whether you were going to shoot your father or not, first off, it was amazing. That was a very touching scene for the season. Um, how hard was that to film? Well, it was 2 a.m. Was it cold? And it was cold. It looked cold. I wanted to know. It was cold, but it was kind of, but it was, I was actually surprisingly not that cold. Um, it was kind of felt a little shocking and almost like it didn't really, it was hard to imagine obviously being in that situation I could never even begin to imagine. Um, so as an actor it was definitely challenging, um, I, but I think I just tried to play into the shock of it a little bit. Um, but also Betty has had this war kind of, this with her father for such a long time now, like this under this roaring, you know, fire underneath between the two of them. And I think it's sad because Betty really did use Hal as like an ally last season. Um, when Alice was brainwashed, she kind of turned to him, which is sad when you have to do that because your dad's a killer. It's not great, but um, he was he was there for her. As a, as a father figure, even when he was behind bars, which is crazy. Um, so to have him gone, she's um, struggling with the fact that she can't really grieve him because of who he was. He was a murderer, and so she feels like she can't miss him. She can't grieve him. She can't mourn him. She feels guilty for doing that. So um, she's definitely going through that in the first episode, which is which is sad to see. Um, but Jughead is really good. What's the biggest difference from filming a TV show versus to filming a film? What was the hardest part for you? Well, I started filming Hustlers as we were filming the finale episode of Riverdale. So it was like a lot of back and forth and I was sleeping on planes, which was, like, it was tiring. But, um, but it's, movies are always so interesting and, and, and fun. I mean, I love film. That's what I always wanted to do. Um, and it's, it's, it's great because you're there and you're working so hard and you're, you, things move really fast and you're putting so much time and telling this story in kind of such a short amount of time and, and then it's over and it's kind of tied up with a little bow and then it's done. And then with Riverdale, clearly it's kind of like a, it's ongoing, ever-changing, you have this family that you keep coming back to, so it's kind of this really nice, stable thing to have in your life. For me, you know, being on a TV show is is really comforting to know that I have a place to come back to, I have family to come back to, I have my castmates to come back to. It's, 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 it's actually quite comforting. Yeah. Throughout the, throughout the seasons, they've addressed the topic of Dark Betty mm-hmm. a little bit. How will we see her explore that area of herself this season, or how will we see it? Um, I think the darkness that she has inside of her exists. I don't I think it first showed itself in like season one and season two as Dark Betty because she didn't know how to handle it. So it was more of just like a costume or a persona. But now it's actually just like part a part of herself that lives inside of her that she's aware of and doesn't try to you know, I, I think she's coming to terms with not being ashamed of the fact that she has a little bit of darkness inside of her, but everyone does. So I think it's sort of um, 
she's evolved. It's just making her a more dimensional human being, and she's accepting herself a little bit more and more each season, um, rather than like dressing up as as this figure that's supposed to be representative. Thank you.